hi welcome back to informatica tutorial last uh, class we have seen uh, how to do expression transformation so we will continue and see more options in expression transformation in this class so basically when uh, there are in expression transformation provides a lot of uh, functions to you so i'm going to talk about a uh, few functions in this class so suppose you have a source here and you have a source qualifier and uh, you have a target so when we do some concepts like slowly changing dimensions uh, in data warehousing we will have a need to check whether a record which is coming from source for example employee ID uh, 100 200 and uh, some 400 are coming from source and uh, in target you have already employee ID 100 and uh, you don't have 200 you have 400 and you have a few other records and number of records here a number of records so you need to look up uh, whether employee 100 exists here and uh, employee 400 exists here uh, or 200 exists here if it is there you update else you insert in this case the problem is uh, straightforward that you compare uh, a number column like employee id to a number column but there could be cases where uh, you have uh, you need to compare a composite key like there are some columns like uh, employee id first name last name phone number email in source table for example so you suppose the rule the requirement is that if the concatenation of first name last name phone number email all these four first name last name phone number email if uh, the concatenation of all this is the uh, same then only the record is same that means you have to concatenate these uh, fields from the each incoming uh, record and you have to look into the target table whether uh, this uh, concatenated value exists you have to concatenate all the records in the target table at lookup so this is an expensive operation because it's a uh, this string could be some uh, 100 to 200 character long so it is an expensive operation to compare such a long strings uh, in database so uh, we have an option in expression transformation so how do we solve this problem so we have some uh, functions in expression transformation which will help us luckily so let's see uh, what they are in this class so I'm going to take the same uh, expression I created the same mapping which I created in the last class and I'm going to add two more ports here salary level I want to mark the salary as uh, high or low or uh, medium so string of 10 is fine so this is only an output port so o underscore salary and here i will put a th there we can put uh, if then else uh, i want to de uh, designate uh, salary greater than 5000 low less than 5000 as low salary 5000 to 10000 as medium salary and about 10000 as high salary so how do i do that so i have a uh, IIF uh, function here on character so let me take all functions and uh, so IIF uh, what is the input port for the salary I can check here if the salary is less than 5000 then I want to mark it as a uh, low salary low salary level is low else I want to start one more IIF uh, function here salary is greater than or equal to 5000 and salary is less than 10,000 I want to mark it as medium else I want to mark it as high that means it is above 10,000 it is a uh, high so the else condition here would be uh, high so this is my condition so if salary is less than 5000 it's low greater than or equal to 5000 and less than 10000 it's medium if anything other than that it's high so uh, i'm using two iif iif is nothing but if then else so when you select a function here iif it will give you the syntax below if you are not clear on this you can open the help and search for iif function here and read about uh, iif function uh, in informatica help so so basically uh, we will pretty much uh, understand it once we once or twice if we do so this is my 
uh, function currently so salary level uh, that is how I am deriving the salary level so next I want to add one more output port called md5 car and I am going to make it a string of 100 it's an output port only and the formula for this is there is a function called md5 and I am going to concatenate first name with last name so there are some operators here this is a concatenation operator so I am using this last name with phone number concatenated with email so this is nothing md5 is nothing but a hash value it generates a hash value so if you see here returns md5 hash value of the input values as char so it generates it, it returns a 32 uh, length uh, character uh, so i don't need to compare really 100 uh, or 200 characters i can con uh, compare a 32 character hash value which is much more efficient so that is the idea behind generating this md5 uh, value so i need to add these two ports to the target table as well now so let me add to the employees table alter table employees add salary level column which is var cat 2 of 10 so similarly i'm going to add one more column which is called var cat 2 of 30 which is var cat 2 of 32 and it is called md5 car so now because I've added two columns I need to import the target table again like uh, earlier we have done so if I import the employees table here replace and this time I get two more ports salary level and md5 so I'll come to the mapping and I'll connect these two ports which I newly created salary level and md5 car so I'll save this and once I save this I need to refresh my mapping to reflect those changes in the session and then I can run this again and see in the workflow monitor what is it doing so it should load this time the two more columns which are salary level and md5 car so let's see how the employees table looks like now so yeah so here you can see that md5 is generated with varcar uh, 2 of 32 and salary level so if i move this to here i can see uh, high and medium so what is the salary level depending on the formula which i have put right so so basically in expression uh, you, you can do all these things uh, so expression is really useful and most of the uh, mappings will contain the expression transformation so in the next class we will see some more features of expression transformation thank you